Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Skyr here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of hermits and crafting. And we're flying through the Hermitcraft shopping district, looking at our giant diamond hourglass, counting down the time until Cherry reopens, because Cherry Computers is entirely closed right now as we construct a massive factory to build the redstone components and as the diamonds slowly fall to the bottom of the hourglass that will be when cherry computers reopens bigger and better than before but there is a problem with this giant hourglass of diamonds and the fact that all of my diamonds are locked away in it rendering me basically poor. <laughs> I never thought I would say that on season six with all my diamonds but uh, I can't remove them so I'm poor and I don't have any diamonds to buy the things that I need to buy today for Cherry Island. So what my plan is now to go around and look into some of our shops and see if there is a few diamonds I can scrounge up. Our first shop we're going to try here is Ghostly Glass. So let's fly on in here. Ooh, hello there. <laughs> it's a ghostly dog. Anyway, um, let's see what we got here. Boom, 18 diamonds. That's how we roll. We are no longer a poor scar. <laughs> We were poor for exactly one minute and 20 seconds. <laughs> and of course, once we cut that, that should be that should be nine diamonds for Cub, nine diamonds for me. Bam! There we go. Up to 24. Oh, another two. Wow. We're just we're rolling. We are rolling. Another two. Absolutely beautiful. Ghostly glass coming in and giving us the diamonds we need to make our projects work today. That is fantastic. False is going to be a rich false when we're done at our ink shop. Can you believe that it has been over a year since we built this shop, Top Gun Powder, with the tower and the hangers and things like that? Isn't that incredible? Anyway nine more diamonds we should come back here and actually stock this place back up oh another six diamonds here and a whole lot of terracotta terracotta needs a bit of a restock we are out of cyan our number one selling uh block here so we'll do that a little bit later in today's episode all aboard the USS Undercut here, where we sell the finest logs here on Hermitcraft. And haha, -ha, it should be the USS Diamonds looking super snazzy. We've got ourselves a stack of diamonds now. Well, that was an interesting experience being diamond poor for one minute and 39 seconds, I think it was. <laughs> but as a Concord member, my friends, there's always diamonds lurking around every corner. Let's head down here to the boardroom and drop off the diamonds for cubs. So we'll do a dip and a doop and check my box here so we have 32 diamonds for today's purchases which is absolutely fantastic ow that hurt my head i'm sorry jelly you're actually my head <laughs> i hit jelly's head i'm so sorry wait now we're not going anywhere jelly we're going down help help this is like ice roads all over again I hate ice roads, now I hate bubble columns. They never work. Ah, it feels good to have those diamonds rattling around in my pocket. And we are now back to Cherry Island to work on our episode, finally, because we're gonna need a whole lot of black dye to finish our warehouse, which we're going to do today and build some absolutely amazing designs that I'm super, super excited about. And we're probably going to need to expand the island a little bit in this direction over here, because that is how far this factory and warehouse is going to extend today. And it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. And it appears our turtle friends are still here on the island after we destroyed the turtle hot tub. <laughs> They're still angrily trying to get away in anger. And there's a chicken over there. Wandering around, keeping an eye on the oceans, keeping those competitors of Cherry at bay so they don't storm our beaches. <laughs> and there's another chicken sentry, keeping an eye out as they do. Chicken security here. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about chickens. Well, I guess Cherry Computers is guarded by chickens. <laughs> that is our security force here. So I have a bit of a challenge now that we're getting to business here and enough chicken talk. I need to gather 10 shulker boxes of sand 10 shulker boxes of gravel, and you guessed it, 10 shulker boxes of hardened clay. And there is zero chance I can get 10 shulker boxes of black ink, but we're gonna try to get as much as we can. So I have around two hours to do this. Do you think I can get 
10 of every one of these things in two hours. Stopped off here at the Secret Pirate Cave to get us the shulker boxes we'll need for this, and I color coordinated them, so the gray for the gravel, the yellow for the sand, the orange for the terracotta, and the black for the squids. So now, hit super fast harvest mode. End of super fast harvesting mode and we have reached our challenge or challenge to get 10 shulker boxes of these said resources so we've got 10 of the sand 10 of the gravel and you guessed it 10 of the terracotta along with just about enough squid product to make it so we can start our factory and make some super awesome builds today which is going to be amazing so what we're going to do like i said before is we're going to build out the center of it the center is where the character of the structure is going to come alive and then repeat this pattern on the other side which is just going to be absolutely fantastic but i have a question for you and i posed this in the stream this tower turns out to be built by the one the only mumbo of the jumbo and i've asked him can i buy it from you and uh, so we're going to wait for his response to see if he still needs it and if he does that's totally fine nothing I'm gonna build on Cherry Island will interfere with this at all but my question to him is will he be willing to sell that tower to me and that farm because I've got some plans for it if he does so in the comments should we actually buy it from him let me know yes we should buy it or no we shouldn't buy it please let me know but my friends I need to start converting those resources into well, factory blocks, I guess. <laughs> Wait, where's that spider going? Spider, 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 doing what spider spiders does, you know, because he's not a man, so not Spider-Man. Did you get it? No? Okay, I'm done. I wanted to show you something here on Shulker Beach, and that is, let's see, that's my closet armory. Beautiful, here it is. Look at the tools after that resource grind. Look at all the shovels, plus, well, we can all rip this poor shovel right here because it did not make it. <laughs> But we got all the pickaxes up there all destroyed. Also, Azuma na renamed some of these. Leave, do, shulkers, not. Thanks, Azuma. <laughs> but anyway, I thought that was pretty funny seeing that. I have been working on starting to color coordinate some of these shulker boxes and getting all the things necessary ready for our build. So. What we're going to work on now is building this section that we've already built, right? We need to build one more of these over here. And once we have that assembled, then the magic happens, my friend. And then we build the whole interior section. And that contains all sorts of really, really fun little details like conveyor belts and all sorts of fun things that will really bring out the factory feel. All of the tools are now fixed. That was quite the grind here to get all of these things fixed back up. But now we are ready to roll. What the heck? <laughs> Where did the zombie come from? Hello, sir. Have a great time. Goodbye. Back here on Cherry Island, I didn't realize that we made another unintentional mob farm down here. This is very, ooh, sparkles. Why is the door all sparkly? <laughs> anyway, look. Get all them creepers and all those mobs. That is quite dangerous. But my friends, we're going to build another little module over here to make it even more dangerous. So what we're going to start with is we're going to leave the center portion to a little bit later in the episode because that's where I'm still refining the design, which I'm really excited about. But what we're going to do over here is we're going to build this on this side, completing the two sided factory. So my friends, let's hit super fast build mode and build this module.
end of super fast build mode and we've got ourselves one absolutely massive factory slash warehouse and look at sparkle door down there doing what sparkle doors do best and that is sparkle <laughs> but anyway this place is absolutely massive and i cannot wait to fill it with all the machines and all the things that will make cherry be profitable and functionable again, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, but there is a one big glaring problem with this entire design, and that's the fact that it's not connected and there is a turtle in the middle of it. See? Turtle. <laughs> so we need to connect these two modules together. So we need to come up with a fun and cool design that ties both these things together. And instead of just more like functionable structure like these two things are, I want to add a little character to this, like some cool designs built into it. So, hmm, give me some time. Let me think about this. So I fly over to Shulker Beach to start getting some materials ready for our build in the center of the factory. And I find that somebody has paid us a little visit here at Cherry Island and they have uh, rigged up Shulker Island here. Illegal goods, <laughs> counterfeit stuff, <laughs> explosives don't open. And this delightful little fellow here, he's always watching. <laughs> so I thought, hmm, who could this be? And then I realized it could be no other than international man of mischief and science and balding Cub fan. Has to be. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be. This is definitely the work of Cub here. Now, I know there's probably no explosives under these chests, but I'm also probably not going to open them just to be safe. <laughs> they're probably okay, right? Maybe? I think they're probably fine. I mean, I don't see anything. <laughs> Knowing demise, I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, we're not going to open those chests. I decided that, right? man that's always watching. I've been thinking about it for a very long time and I think I am ready to build the center area here. So what we're gonna start working on is the kind of corner connection areas between each module and the center portion. So we're just gonna do something like this. We're just gonna go like one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then swoop that back to like a so. And then we're gonna have these giant kind of black support structures go all the way up and around. And then in the center, we'll probably drop the building down a little bit lower. And then that is where we have some fun designs planned. So let me get these support structures down and maybe even a rebranding of the Cherry logo. I've got some ideas in my head. So when I'm doing this, I'm gonna think about it. Building those giant supports out of black concrete has really depleted my die. So it's a good thing that we got those diamonds earlier in the episode. So how much does false sell these for? Two diamonds per stack, okay. Okay, these are fairly expensive. And that should do us with three diamonds to spare. And with those final three diamonds, we can get some ice because we are just about out. And I think it is one diamond for six stacks. That's absolutely perfect. And I don't have any more diamonds left. <laughs> We're gonna have to go mining after this episode. I'm liking these giant pillars on the side. I think they really help frame up the area very well. But one thing it's making it uh, lacking is on the ends. So the little black supports on the ends, I think we need to beef up and support more so that it would fit a little bit better with the overall design. So if we fly down here, we need to decide what's well gonna go in the middle here. And I think I've got some ideas. So first off, we're gonna build a really cool doorway right here. And it's gonna kind of like come up and out as if it kind of rolls up into a support structure and then rolls down when it closes. I think it'll look really fantastic with some piping coming down the sides of it. And and then as for the center, that's where the magic happens. That is where conveyor belts and cranes move different resources between the different uh, storage modules. So I think that's gonna look absolutely fantastic. And uh, depending on what we do in these, like if this is the villager area, or this is say some farms on this one, maybe we can change up what's actually being moved back and forth. But for now we can come up with some fun things. And then as for the very top, I'm thinking about either a heliport for transport, you know, cherry supply applies to the shop in the shopping district from the factory island or we do a giant cherry logo up at the top which I'm thinking about rebranding it as I said before so yeah we got a lot to do so my friends let's hit super fast build mode and finish this factory once and for all <laughs>
super fast build mode and we've got the middle connection building set up and ready to roll and I think it's got some fun and cool little details that really make this into a factory warehouse and look at this we've got little cranes there doors please don't die okay we're fine <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we got some little vents down here, more piping, and I think this is a super cool retracting door going up into its mechanism there. So I think that's absolutely fantastic. Maybe just a small little troll towards Iskel. <laughs> <laughs> Found some little diorite uh, blocks there to make it look like these things, you know, go into the ground and lock in. And I really don't know why Quartz doesn't have um, these pillars, but, you know, who knows? Hello, turtle. I'm going to use you as a launching pad. There we go. That actually worked. <laughs> so one thing I want to do up here is actually add smokestacks at some point. And over in the middle part, this is where I want to add my next build and that is the cherry logo but as i said before i've been thinking about rebranding the cherry logo into something a little bit more detailed and fitting to minecraft that's not just a piece of redstone made to look like a cherry so yeah we'll think about that in a moment but first on these little mechanisms that go in and out for these conveyor belts I want to put some redstone on them. There we go. That definitely adds a little bit more design and a bit more character to the overall build. And it just brings that life element that's so important when you're building. You can build big structures that look nice, but the little details like that are truly what makes it come together. And life elements would be like the doors, the vents, and of course, these mechanisms that move around the redstone and stuff. And I've been also thinking about removing these stone lines across here they were supposed to be more like track and then the red was the centerpiece but you know these pieces don't really connect to half slabs the uh, pillars so hmm we might get rid of them, we might keep them, we'll see how it goes. But where I'd like to turn my attention for now is to the roof line. In this area, I've had so many different ideas for it. I've had helicopter platforms, you know, bringing down supplies to the factory. I've had, you know, smokestacks designed for this location. But in the end, I think I'm just gonna build a giant cherry logo because I think it will have a nice little impact, especially as you're flying in to Cherry Island. Was thinking about writing out cherry, but I think that might be a little too much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a giant cherry for now, and eventually maybe some smokestacks on either one of the Alpha or Bravo modules to the sides. So we'll decide about that in a little bit, but for now, Let's see about building that cherry look. I think that looks pretty cool. It reminds me of the cat defense force in season five of Hermitcraft where we made the giant creeper farm. And of course it was themed towards a police station run with cats. And there was a giant cat head on the outside. And now we have our giant cherry. And you'll notice that I added a little extra detail to this one. And I put a little green leaf at the top, which I'm absolutely loving. But I have in my creative world been testing around a couple other designs for the cherry logo, which I think I'll show you in my next episode because I'm not 100% ready to show them you yet. They need a little bit more work, but yeah, I'm loving this thing. Just that little extra green leaf up there really kind of brings it together. And then we have these little like fork like structures holding it up. And uh, yeah, so let's shoot down to the bottom here. And that turtle has literally moved 20 blocks in this entire episode. <laughs> Hello there, fella. So let's head over here and I want to show you this thing. This door looks super fantastic, how it kind of curls up into its support structure. I do want to put some grindstones along. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> okay, we have a child coming in. We got a child. But yeah, that is one of the most efficient mob farms here on Hermitcraft. And it is uh, incredibly dangerous in here, but you can get a good picture of how big this place is and how much incredible stuff that we can do in here soon when we move all of our different farms and mechanisms here. So let's go up to the upper left. I almost thought I was going to go down there. <laughs> this is, of course, our kind of second story outdoor area, if you will. This is so dangerous. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Dodging, weaving, got him. <laughs> Dude, oh, he hit me. I was seeing if I could not get hit by his arrows. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, 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 no. Oh, gosh. Oh, 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 oh we cut down the three hearts there. <laughs> what was hitting me outside of the skeleton, which I killed? Nothing. I don't see anything else there. Okay. All right, is there a phantom? 
<laughs> I don't know. Actually, there are phantoms in Minecraft. I'm just saying there's like some kind of invisible creature. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. All right, we're fine. All right, anyway, as I was saying, this outdoor area has these cool little glass doors that kind of open and close and, well, in theory, right? They don't technically, but in our imaginations, they do when there's things moving between module Bravo and module Alpha. And then we've got some observers, some repeaters up there, and of course, a giant pile of redstone, which I was surprised to find that much redstone. So yeah, I think this area is looking absolutely fantastic, and it's definitely given off the vibe of a pretty cool redstone factory we got an insane amount of progress done today and that is represented with the hourglass here look at how many diamonds are at the bottom of the hourglass representing how much longer until cherry reopens and that is absolutely fantastic but there we go my friends i hope you enjoyed today and as i said we got a ton of progress done and until next time this has been good times with scar and i just realized there literally is like an arrow inside jelly's head <laughs> But anyway, guys, if you played the videos on the rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scared for life.